Hi guys, what's going on today? It's Fred the Incredible here, and I'm back with another Funko related video. Now, I know I haven't uploaded anything related to Funko, um, recently, like, in regards to full-length videos, um, since January, but today, I'd like to show you guys some of the, uh, recent Funko Pops I was able to add to my collection. Um, some of which I got for my birthday, which was this past Wednesday. Alright, now, before I can go ahead and upload, well, before I can go ahead and, not upload, um, show you guys some of the, uh, recent Funko Pops I added to my collection recently, um, I want you all to please do me a huge favor and smash that like button, and hit that subscribe button as well, so that way you can become part of the incredible community. Also, please be sure to ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos or shorts that I come out with. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, as you, as a lot of you may know, um, well, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you may, may remember me showing off the, um, um, that fun kill pop of Demona with those pops of Lexington and Hudson from Disney's Gargoyles. And I actually got it, um, like, a, um, uh, last week, um, 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 from a, uh, Facebook Marketplace dealer. Now, I, I want to try to complete the, uh, uh, major set of Disney's Gargoyles, um, like, um, before, um, Disney Plus comes out with the live-action reboot of, of the, that uh, iconic series, because, uh, um... As a lot of you Disney fans out there may know by now, um, Disney Plus is currently working on a live-action reboot of this, um, um, classic cartoon. And, uh, so far, um, from the, uh, main line, I have, uh, um, Demona right here, followed by Hudson and Bronx. Whoa. I just gave it away. <laughs> Here's a, uh, um, two-pack that I actually got for my birthday recently, and it was of, um, Hudson and Bronx from Disney's Gargoyles as stone statues. I was actually, um, feeling pretty glad that I got this, uh, two-pack for my birthday because, uh, this is actually the first ever two-pack I've ever added to my collection. Ever. And, uh, um, for those of you who have never seen, uh, um, the uh, Gargoyles cartoon series, um, from the 90s, um, the gargoyles are stone statues during the day, and they come to life at night. And the, they're, uh, by definition, when they're statues during the day, they, they're they basically just, um, asleep. Okay, now that I've added the, both this Funko Pop, this Funko Pop of Demona, and this two-pack of Hudson and Bronx, um, to my collection, I'd better put this in a, a pop protector. Now, if you guys are curious as to where I got that Funko Pop protector from, I actually got him from I get I got it from Paradise Hobbies. To, um, well, not too long ago. I'm having a hard time speaking English today. <laughs> now, when it comes to other Funko Pops that I added to my collection recently, um, whereas I got some for my birthday, um. I was able to add this Funko Pop of, um, Sylveon, um, to my collection, and I also, well, I got this one and the two-pack of Hudson and Bronx for my birthday, and they, they were both from my parents. Now, when it comes to other, um, Funko Pops that I recently got for my birthday, I got, um, two more, or, um, from, uh, my older sister, Betsy. And Betsy, if you're watching this video, thank you. Now, the, the um, two that my older sister Betsy got me were um, of um, Floating Ain from Avatar The Last Airbender, whereas I just recently finished binge-watching Avatar The Last Airbender, the cartoon series, on, on my birthday. I also, well, my older sister Betsy also got, got me this fun kill pop of Sashomaru from Inuyasha. And if you, if you guys have, and I'm definitely having a hard time stumbling over my words today. <laughs> anyway, so, 
if you guys don't know what Inuyasha is, it's an anime series about a um, Japanese schoolgirl named Kagome who um, falls into this magical well and finds herself thrust back in time to feudal Japan. And uh, there she meets a um, half-demon boy named Inuyasha. And um, Sashomaru here is actually Inuyasha's older brother, who is um, a full-fledged demon himself. Now that I've got these two for my collection, I'll go ahead and put them in pop protectors off camera. Now, um, some of the other th things that I got for my birthday were, were some uh, Posca markers. Um, and, uh, I actually, the, um, well, I actually want to use these after I use up some of the, uh, Funko Pop, well, not Funko Pops. I'm having a hard time speaking English today. <laughs> um, I want to try to use up my uh, old coloring utensils before I start, start using the these here um, in the future. But um, I also got these for my birthday from my parents as well. And um, not only did I get um, these Posca markers, um, th um, these single Funko Pops, and a two-pack of Hudson and Bronx from Disney's Gargoyles, but I also want to, but I also got a another thing um, from them, which finally just came in the mail today. Now, here's the thing that uh, my parents get got me for my birthday that just came today. Bum ba da dum dum dum. It's the um, deluxe pop moment of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in Professor Oak's lab, as seen in um, the first two Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. Now, I I was actually really excited to add this one to my collection because um um um. This is actually the first. Let me rephrase that. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on camera, but this is actually the first um, deluxe pop moment I've ever added to my collection. Now, this is also the uh, first pop moment in general that I've ever added to my collection, and uh, now I can safely say that I'm that I'm gonna have to find a, a space on my wall to put put it in. And I'm I'm also probably gonna need. Need some uh, heavy di duty command strips to put this on. Mm hmm. Now, I I don't want to end this video here, but um, because um, I've got a new Funko soda to open up for you guys here on camera, and it's of Obi Wan Kenobi. Now the uh, chase variant of Obi Wan Kenobi as an old man is what. Here he's translucent, like as one of those force ghosts, as seen in the the Star Wars movies. And I heard the chase variant is pretty valuable. But let's see what which one we we, we got. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> I pulled the chase. First can, first time pulling a chase! <laughs> and here we go. There's the pog on the front side. And you found the chase. Translucent Obi-Wan Kenobi. One out of 2,000. I feel so elated right now. <laughs> This is the first Star Wars soda chase I've ever added to my collection, period. Okay, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to mention is that I went to a, a, a garage sale um, uh, not too long ago. And uh, I got a um, um, special bin to put all of my sketchbooks in. And... Also, since the last time I uploaded a video here on my channel, um, one of my uh, Star Wars coloring book pages on my on my bedroom door behind me, he fell down, unfortunately. 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And also let me know down in the comment section down below what your guys' favorite um, fun kill pop was from this video that I added to my collection, and also one that I showed you guys. For me, it would have to be this deluxe pop moment of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in Professor Oak's lab. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace!